Hey everyone, today in this video we are going to be talking about wetting out for both brush plating and bath plating. So what is wetting out? Wetting out is the process of turning something hydrophilic. Hydrophilic means the item attracts water, while hydrophobic means the item repels water. So we are going to go over cleaning your items before electrocleaning, how to tell if your part is wet out or not, what you should do if your part dries out, types of items that can cause problems when electrocleaning, how long it should take to electroclean, how to know when your components need to be replaced, and what you should do if your part is not bubbling in the electroclean. So let's get started. Before electrocleaning, you need to make sure that you are cleaning your items before so there are no oils, debris, or residues of any kind on your part. Wear gloves to help with this. Make sure to keep your baths clean. I recommend you use multiple rinse stations between baths so you are not contaminating your other chemicals with the previous chemicals you've used. With brush plating, make sure that you are rinsing off your item completely with either a rinse beaker or a spray bottle filled with distilled water. This makes sure there are no residues left on an item when continuing plating. So how can you tell if an item is wet out or not? As you can see on this piece of stainless steel, that the right side is hydrophilic, attracting the water, and is ready for the next step in the plating process. The left side is hydrophobic, making the water beat off. If you proceed with the plating process on the left side, you could run into problems like adhesion issues, haziness, or even dullness. Let's switch over to brush plating. Let's electroclean the left side. As you can see, while I am plating, you can see bubbling and that the piece is starting to wet out. Make sure you electroclean for long enough because your part can easily dry out if you don't. A good technique that I like to use when plating is going past the middle point where I would want to plate so that when I plate with other metals, I have room to transition my plating from one point to another. Now, if your item dries out like this piece here, you can see the wet out is starting to go away. If this happens at any point during the plating process, you need to start over with electrocleaning it. Here are just a few items that could cause potential problems when plating. With this flower, you can see that there are a lot of potential areas to trap solution and not be rinsed off properly. This measuring cup, you can see that it has the potential to trap air in it when you are plating, causing the part not to wet out. This hanger looks normal, but when I go to electroclean it, it is not bubbling, giving us a sign that it might have a coating on it, preventing it from wetting out. How long should I electroclean for? Well, it depends on the size and the shape of what you are plating, but it should take no longer than two minutes for an item to be completely wet out. If your item is taking a long time to wet out, maybe it's time to either change out the solution or to change out your components. For brush plating, you should be able to electroclean your area until it stops drying out, like this. If the area is drying out, that means you should electroclean the area for longer. If your item is not bubbling in the electroclean, that either means that there is not a good enough electrical connection, or it could mean that the item has a coating on it of some sort. It could be paint, clear coat, an oil coating, or just something that blocks the solution from electrocleaning it. If it is one of these options, you can either use a paint stripper to remove coats of paint or clear coat, and if it is an oil coating, you can try getting a soap that removes grease or oil. If your item that you are plating has a sticker, a decal, paint, or something that is on the surface, the ElectroClean could take it off and mess it up. Add decals or stickers on at the end of the plating process, not before. Well, that is it for this video. If you enjoyed the video and found it helpful, then give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you're not. That tells us if you are enjoying these videos and that you want more. If you have any questions, please feel free to go to our website and email our tech email. They should be able to answer any questions you have there. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you.